Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. You know, I'm your host, Seishu. I'm a photographer here in Avon, Connecticut, and I am thrilled to have Gavin Wade, who's the founder of CloudSpot, with me today. Now, as you guys know, uh, online proofing is just exploding. There's uh, uh, companies on the East Coast, on the West Coast, in the South, everywhere just coming up on scene and helping us photographers out. And one such company is CloudSpot as well. And I wanted to talk to Gavin about exactly how it got started and why it's such an important little tool for photographers considering online proofing. Thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks so much. Good morning. Uh, yeah, you look absolutely bundled up there, nice and toasty. And here I am just in you know, t-shirt and jeans here. <laughs> don't, don't rub it in, man. Don't rub I know. It in. I know, it, I know. It, it's, it's only the beginning of December here. And in the next couple of weeks, it's going to get colder and colder and colder. And January and February, man, it's going to be <laughs> the tundra out there. Um, uh, when when photographers are having, I mean, especially in the Northeast, I know you guys uh, don't ever have a slow season, but in the Northeast, we have a, the slow season. And we what we do typically is we start planning for the next season, right? Sure. And one sure. of the things we do uh, is think about the tools we use and figure out what makes us money, what doesn't make us money, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll put it very bluntly. And sometimes things that we buy simply just sits there on the shelf and doesn't make us a dime, right? Yep. We've yep. all been there. We've all spent money on things that are completely useless. But online proofing is one of those things that photographers are keen on using when in-person sales is not an option or you know, they feel like, okay, we can at least make some amount of money selling prints or selling digital files right. online. So tell us a little bit about CloudSpot and give us a, sort of the backstory on how it all got started. Sure, absolutely. Um, so really CloudSpot began at such a time in a season, believe it or not, you know, we SoCal photographers do kind of have a season, right? And we are entering it now where it's a bit slower, holiday portraits are coming to a close and we're prepping for the next year. We're kind of analyzing, okay, what really sucked a lot of our time this past year. What did I absolutely dread doing? What do I want to do better? How do we want to grow? Right? And I think as an entrepreneur, anybody would be kind of asking those questions when we have a moment to breathe and kind of, you know, introspectively check it all out. Um, so CloudSpot came about really as an answer to that question to me. Um, so I found myself, uh, my wife and I do photography together. So thank heaven that I have, I married my editor and best friend and all those types of things. Uh, and so what I was responsible for was once she was done, uh, I was getting all of those images to our clients. Uh, and I found myself in this moment of just kind of sheer, you know, desperation going, oh my gosh, I'm spending 80 hours per year delivering images to my clients. And I, I was just, when I sat down and did the math, I was like, wow, there, there's two weeks in my life where I'm delivering. Because uh, we were all about digital delivery. We used to do the CDs, we used to do the USB drives, and you know, our clients were just wanting fast, you know, great you know, turnaround times, and they were really, really kind of saying, hey, that's one of the things we really love about you guys. You know, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's two weeks after my wedding and I have all my images. So we really wanted that to be a highlight of our service. Uh, so what I was doing, uh, I was using uh, a, com a competing proofing solution at the time, and what I was having to do was generate download links. And it wasn't just one, it was about seven or eight download links. And you, you might know who I'm talking about. Uh, but I was having to do that, and then I was having to cut and paste it into an email. And then I was having to cut and paste the gallery like proofing URL into that email, and then I was sending it out. Uh, and then those dreaded things would expire, or someone wouldn't get it in time, or just at the end of the day, when someone had paid us thousands of dollars to shoot their wedding, uh, it was an email with, hey, here's your links, have a nice life, kind of, sort of, right? And I truly felt this disconnect with our branded experience that they had with us prior, and then at a time when it should be a highlight of their experience with us, it was just, here you go, thanks, you know, and it's just kind of turn and burn because we just didn't have the time. Uh, and not to mention, I mean, we need to hook our vendors up with images, right? They're at our mercy uh, with, you know, getting their portfolio out there, and so I just didn't even have time to do that. And even when I did, I would just be putting all of the work on them, saying, okay, here's the gallery. Go select the ones you want. <laughs> get back to me. Mm -hmm. And then when they would get back to me, I'd be like, dang it. Oh, my gosh. Now I actually have to go through and do all this work, go through, pick out all the images, upload them to some Dropbox or third-party you know, uh, digital delivery solution, and then hope that they like download it in time so that I can move on, right? And then right. hope that they refer me magically, right? Um, so I just said there's just got to be a better way 
um, because I'm just wasting so much time here and I'd rather spend it with my family or I'd rather spend it growing my business. But I don't want to spend it just babysitting all these download links that go out everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, as cliche as it sounds, CloudSpot began on a napkin uh, in a, in a November uh, evening out at dinner with my wife. Um, and I said, hey, you know what? I, I, I don't see a solution out there right now where I could say, I want to send this image to this person in the way that I want it. And at the end of the day, they get something from my brand, from my business, uh, that they can actually see like, wow, okay, that's great. Like that is still something that lets me know that Gavin and Aaron shot it, you know, that has their logo and colors. And it was easy for them to get, right? Because the more that you make your vendors and your clients' lives easier, the better you're going to look. And, you know, that's conducive to growing a brand versus just, here's your Dropbox link, have a nice life, bye-bye. You know, <laughs> oh, by the way, please refer us. You know, it just doesn't, just kind of breaks that. Right, um, absolutely. And so I was just looking for ways. There's other tools out there where you could just be like, cool, like even on my phone, I could select these five images and I could text it to somebody, right? Well, why as photographers, why can't we really say with that ease of use, hey, I want these five images to go out to this person. But then for photographers, we want more control, right? So it's like, okay, maybe I don't want them to have the high res. I want them to have it at this size and I want them to be able to download it this many times. And, oh, I'm marketing my images, so I want to watermark it actually so that they can put it up on social media and I can be confident that my brand is growing along with theirs. Um, and there just was no streamlined way to do it. Uh, and I said, you know what? All right, I have an itch. I'm going to scratch it. Let's do this. <laughs> and awesome. so, and, and so this, that's this, was, this, this was how many years ago again? This was a couple mm -hmm. of years ago? Oh boy. Yeah, going on two and a half years. Two and a half years. Mm -hmm. uh, and what have you learned uh, since you started the process of, of developing this, this online solution for photographers? What have you learned about photographers and how they use online tools like CloudSpot? Absolutely. Um, so honestly, you know, it was a huge undertaking, right? So we started out very, very small with the MVP product and then we just realized, hey, you know what? There's so many different businesses out there. There's so many different ways that those businesses are run and different needs. My needs aren't the only needs. And so we started realizing, okay, great. We needed to build a platform that was flexible enough uh, for photographers to use it how they wish. And so our first step was customization. Right, we didn't want CloudSpot to be the the hero or the focal point. We didn't want our names and everything. We didn't want to be emailing the clients. So we say, like, okay, we need the photographer's brand to be up front and center, and we need to be invisible. That was that was lesson number one, uh, and that is one thing that truly has and still does set us apart. Um, and that's okay by me. And some people are like, hey, why you know you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot here because no one's seen CloudSpot. No one's knowing what these photographers are using. And I said, you know what? That's not what it's about. It's, it's about serving this community that I'm a part of. And I know that, that would, that's what I would want for my business. I wouldn't want anyone else knowing what I'm using per se. They just would like to see, wow, that looks great. You know, I had a wonderful experience with that photographer. Thank you for making my experience so much more smoother. Um, so that was a big lesson. Um, and then going off of that, it's just, you know, uh, unfortunately, development takes longer than it does for photographers just to get feedback and say, I want this, this, and this, right? So it's really developing the art of triaging what is truly most important to a photographer. And sometimes that's uh, maybe seeing ahead of what they need and kind of anticipating it, not just giving them what you know, we all need right away. Uh, and then it's also the education behind it. Okay, like why would something like this be beneficial? Why would that help? Um, as a lot of new photographers use CloudSpot. It's not necessarily photographers that are six, seven years who have been there, done that, and you know, bought that t-shirt. It's more like, hey, I'm trying to grow my business. How do I do this? What do I, how do I go about it? And so we've, we've kind of discovered that, okay, you know, let's help. Let's assist. Let's kind of uh, equip them with these tools to help them grow and not just say, okay, here you go. Use this. Bye-bye. So. Awesome. Uh, one of the questions I've always wanted to ask you is, is, CloudSpot a service that I can embed in, as part of my own website, or does it stand alone? So we aren't in the business of allowing photographers to create a website with us. However, we do provide a CloudSpot homepage. So you can say, okay, this is my custom subdomain. And we actually purchased here at CloudSpot the main domain of client-gallery.com. So all of your web galleries don't have CloudSpot in the name or some other ridiculous name where clients don't even know where it came from. It's you know your company name dot client dash gallery dot com slash and then your client's gallery name. So we again trying to be as invisible as possible. That's how we went about it. Um, so if you go to that homepage, which would be like sushi photography dot client dash gallery dot com, that would show all of your galleries there or whichever you decide to make visible with your logo, your colors, everything like that. 
Um, so we've seen photographers hyperlink that to like a proofing, you know, hyperlink on their main page, and it's a seamless transition. So awesome. So when someone goes to that that page, I guess uh, yeah. they don't really know they're going to CloudSpot, right? No, no, not at all. Um, there, there's as I started to say, there's been a serious explosion in the market uh, yeah. of of vendors like yourselves bringing tools like CloudSpot out for photographers. Mm -hmm. So the photographers are, it's like the, the golden era of photography, really, in a way. <laughs> uh, they're, they're able to uh, use these tools to grow their businesses. Um, and you've already hit on a couple of points where you are different, right? You're mm -hmm. different, perhaps even better than the competition that's out there. What other things would you say to someone who's considering CloudSpot or wants to work with CloudSpot? And I'm, this is not a direct pitch to to use you guys, but I'm just cu I'm curious. Like, how are you different from X, Y, and Z out there? I won't even mention their names. Uh, I just want to know what it is that you bring to the table that you know I'm not going to find anywhere else. Sure, sure. I think one of the biggest, or actually two big things that set us apart, just right out of the gate, and then we really try and make apparent uh, from day one, is that we are a proactive digital delivery solution. And by proactive, I mean the photographer can actually say, okay, I'm sending these images with these parameters to this person in this way. Um, you know, and with that process, whether you send one image or a thousand images or two thousand, that process for the photographer takes about 10 to 15 seconds. Um, and I have not seen that anywhere else. Um, now, couple that with no longer the company, like CloudSpot being the, you know, solution that your clients are seeing, but rather it being the photographer's brand, the photographer's colors, the photographer's email template that they've used and can modify on the fly and send out uh, with a direct download now button that's right in the email for your client to click on and can receive those images at that size with or without your watermark um, right then and there. Um, a lot of companies, and I believe almost every other company out there, says, here's a link, go get your images, you know? Go do the work. Go grab it. Here you go. It's over there. Uh, CloudSpot says, here you go. So it kind of reduces that friction, reduces any kind of barriers, uh, and allows it to truly be a service versus just you know a point in this direction. Following up with that, though, I think this is a question I'd asked you uh, several weeks ago when we were planning this interview. Yeah. Uh, and this question is about the delivery of the photographs. And you said, mm -hmm. you know, I can grab a, a bunch of photographs and say, I, I want these to be sized at a specific size and dimension and perhaps even uh, resolution and sent to this one particular person. Now, wh how does that work? Does that work in terms of uh, you're crunching these pictures down and, and is there any, any loss of, of, of quality in terms of the, the file itself? If let's say I go from a high res to something that's you know still 300 DPI, but it's going to be a five by seven, sure. uh, and I want only five by sevens to go to this client, is right. that person going to see you know the kinds of things that can happen uh, when things are you know downsized? Yeah, no, it's, it's a great question, and you know image quality to us, both when a photographer uploads to us and then also when they deliver, is of huge importance. And the way that I kind of frame it is we don't touch it. <laughs> you know, when you upload it, we don't touch it. We don't compress it. We don't resize it. We don't optimize it, you know, for whatever it may be. What you give us is what we store. Uh, likewise, when you deliver it, we do the exact same thing. So we have powerful, powerful tools to resize those images kind of on the fly and send them out without any loss in quality. So, if, you know, if you upload 300 DPI, and you send it out and you want it to be delivered at a 5 by 7 size, you say, cool, pixel at longest edge would be this, which is 5 by 7 and then out it goes. So it is a lossless uh, resizing. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. I mean, that, that's a winner right there because I think a lot of people are <laughs> struggling with, again, lack of time, wanting yep. to really serve people uh, as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh, and this, I think, gives them the opportunity to be able to Say okay, well, you know, the the wedding planner gets 300 DPI, eight by tens, and the florist gets five by sevens. You know that kind of thing, right? So they're exactly. able to really differentiate and and really being able to do that uh, on the fly. I mean, really not having to do any resizing and sending yeah. through scripts and things like that on the on the on the right. photographer's computer. That's yeah. time saved. I mean, that's 
that's time made actually in a way oh money made actually uh for if sure you, if you if you're saving time um give us an idea about the 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 plans that you have for photographers i know you've just launched something new uh for photographers uh with uh you used to have a free plan now you're doing something else forgive me if i've got the the information all sure. m- messed up here but what what's going on with with the with the different plans you have? Sure. So when we first launched, we had a kind of starter plan, you know, a pro plan, and then we had an unlimited plan, and then we had a free plan as well. Uh, the starter plan, uh, which was our entry level, you know, kind of paying user plan, was twenty bucks a month. Um, you know, and for established photographers who have that type of volume, you know, that makes sense, right? And you know, we pay far more for far less in some respects with other aspects of our business. Um, however. As CloudSpot really is trying to appeal to new and starting out photographers or people who want their brand to start getting out there, but who are maybe just shooting on the weekends or have one or two gigs a month, um, you know, brand identity is huge for them because that's what they're growing. But at the same time, storage needs aren't quite so high. Um, so they're like, hey, you know, I love it, but I don't need 200 gigs right now. You know, and I'm just growing. So 20 bucks a month is kind of a lot. Um, so I said, you know, all of us kind of circled the wagon and said, you know what, you're absolutely right. Um, and where we thought we were missing a huge, huge section of the photography market, um, not from just a business perspective, but also from a just serving new photographers coming in, mm-hmm. which is huge to us as we kind of talk about educating and helping them grow. So uh, following up on our last conversation, we launched uh, a kind of entry-level plan. Uh, which was unrestricted in its features because with CloudSpot you can upload more than just JPEG. You can upload PSD files, Adobe Illustrator files, PDFs, PNGs, you know, TIFFs. Uh, did I say TIFFs? Yeah. Anyways, all of those things can be used and then delivered as well um, when you deliver the image uh, in the original size. Uh, so we said we wanted photographers, no matter what stage they're at, to have access to that. Uh, so we released a $4 a month plan which gives you five gigs of storage, but you can you know, upload and then take off. And you, just kinda, you can use it as a, a lily pad of sorts for one or two gigs a month. Um, and so we released that. Uh, and then we also released a median plan, which was about 15 gigs for 10 bucks a month. Um, and so we saw a great response from that. You know, photographers in that specific genre saying, thank you, like this is perfect. And then as I grow, so will my needs with CloudSpot, but I want to kind of hitch my wagon to this as starting out as soon as I can. Awesome. And and all of this is on a monthly basis or can you play uh, on an annual basis as well? Yeah, absolutely. So you can do a yearly plan and then we kind of give you a bit of an incentive. So instead of 10 bucks a month, it's eight bucks a month, you know, and so on. Okay. Um, so yeah, we do offer that as well for the best value. Um, our entry plan though is just $4 a month. We don't have a yearly plan for that because um, we figure people are either just going to stay there for good or they're just going to quickly grow out of it, but they want to get their feet wet. So. Is there anything else you'd like to add to our conversation? <laughs> anything else we should know about uh, when, it, when it comes to CloudSpot or the very, uh, very act of putting photographs online and being able to either deliver the photographs or sell the photographs? Oh, one last question for you, by the way. Sure. Uh, you know, are you tied up with any labs? Because a lot, of, a lot of the photographers want, at least as a portrait photographer, I want to make sure that if our client sees those photographs, there's an easy, you know, a segue into possibly sending yeah. them to a, a, a website or a, an option to buy prints, order prints, you know? Uh, yeah. What, what options are there for photographers right now? Sure. So, yes, photographers can definitely create online galleries, like proofing galleries, if you will, uh, to share with their clients, right? And so that's, that's always a, an element of any type of proofing company, as well as sales. And so sales was very important. When we launched eight months ago, we were supporting White House Custom Color, and we still do. Uh, we're growing our prints and products through them. Photographers can set their own prices. They get to keep all of their profits. Um, that's very important. That would be important to me as a photographer. Um, so we are supporting that right now, and then we're looking in Q1 of this next year to be supporting additional labs, you know, as everyone kind of has their favorites. Um, we just had to start somewhere, so we started there. Um, and then, you know, sales are very important to us. And actually, starting today, in about maybe 20, 30 minutes, we will be launching the ability for photographers to assign discount codes and create discount codes for all of their galleries and for their clients. So they'd be able to uh, set a dollar amount or a percentage amount off of the order total or off of the shipping. Um, so that will be launching. That's been a huge request uh, as we head into the holiday season. So we're excited to be able to support that. Um, and then we just kind of move onward from there. You know, our goal is, you know, can we definitively say, you know, in six months from now, hey, if you use CloudSpot, photographers will make 30% more on print sales just by doing simply nothing. 
but just, hey, upload to CloudSpot, share it with your clients, and let us kind of take care of the rest. And so really it is going to be a big goal for us to allow photographers to have that kind of you know, income coming in, but at the same time, as we do with just digital delivery, spending as less time as possible doing it. I know it said last question, but I've got more questions in my head right now. <laughs> Fire away, man. Fire uh, away. I'm curious, though. So CloudSpot doesn't make any money on the sale of any prints, I'm imagining, right? You're just essentially hosting the photographs and, and, and charging for the hosting fee, essentially. Yeah, that, that's correct. The okay. photographer sees the base cost from the lab, so okay. WCC in this case, and then they can set a markup based off of that. Mm -hmm. okay. And then just once the order ships, then that money gets released right into the photographer's bank account. Excellent. Are you able to tell us a little bit about what your plans are for next year? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have plans even just for this year. <laughs> it's not over yet. Um, so as I mentioned, we're really going to be focusing on allowing photographers to sell more while doing less. Um, so with that, and keep in mind, we're only thus far been able for photographers in the U.S. to be selling through CloudSpot. And we want to change that in a big way. Over half of our users are international, so we need to support them. Um, so a big focus for us will be allowing international sales to take place, uh, as well as providing more control. Because we don't have self-fulfillment right now with CloudSpot. We, again, our goal at first was to reduce the workload on the photographer and not increase it. So in order to kind of help those who do want a bit more control over the orders that do come in, we'll be instituting more of a way for a photographer once an order is received to not actually have it automatically be sent out to WHCC, but rather to allow the photographer to play with it a bit, to adjust it, and to kind of customize it and tailor it. Um, you know, control is sometimes we photographers have a hard time giving up. Uh, I, I know so. all, the, all, the, all too well, my friend, yes. <laughs> So Absolutely. we want to we want to provide more control. So okay. those are a couple of things that we've got in our crosshairs from the development side. Awesome, awesome, great, uh, Gavin Wade, uh, founder of CloudSpot. Uh, thanks for joining us, man. I really appreciate it. It's good to Thank know you. another company that's doing some amazing work uh, for photographers and being able to really, you know, make a living, make a make a real sustainable living uh, is key, right? Uh, and I think that's Absolutely. what you're giving is you're giving us all uh, the, the tools to do that. So thanks for, for doing that. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks, Sashi. Take care. Bye. Bye.